Hello and welcome to this tutorial on setting up push notifications for Cocos 2DX using the batch framework. If you've already seen the iOS side of setting up uh, batch push notifications, uh, you'll already have an account on batch. If not, uh, you can head to batch.com and sign up completely free. And uh, once you've signed up, you should get to a page similar to this. Um, and we're going to add our Android application. So we're going to click the green plus next to applications to create our application. If your application is already live, you can just enter your store URL uh, to get setting up. But we're going to choose manual and choose platform Android. Uh, give it your app a name. So we're just going to call this test batch Android. And we're going to add this app. So you'll get to this screen here, which gives you your dev API key, and you know you can download the SDK and go to documentation. So um, I'm going to download the Android SDK first, which is just a zip file, and I'm going to open the documentation tab. And I'm just going to click take me to the dashboard. So once you're on the dashboard of your uh, app, you go to settings API keys and you'll see the two API keys. Your dev one you'll use for testing and then once your app goes live, obviously switch out the dev key for the live key. And then under push settings, we're going to generate this GCM authorization key in a moment. But first, um, to have batch on the Android side you need to have Google Play services set up for your project uh, because batch uses uh, Google Cloud Messaging so it's only compatible with Google Play as it says in the documentation so um, for this to work you will need to watch our video on setting up Google Play services uh, for Cocos 2DX which I'll leave a link in so if you go and complete that video first and add Google Play services to your application and then come back to this video everything will be fine so to generate this GCM authorization key we're first going to choose a language and then if you go to um, if you go to console.developers.google.com you should get an overview of your projects and these projects are projects you've created in um, either on the developer console where you upload your APKs etc or you can actually create a project here so I'm just going to choose a project that hasn't been set up for a batch and the first thing you want to do is go to APIs and you need to, as you can see it's already got Google Play services included because I added that on the console side um, if you then scroll down and add Google Cloud Messaging and click the on button and it will add it and next you want to go to credentials and under public API access you want to click create key server key and then just click create now where it says API key that string of letters and numbers is your um, GCM authorization key so if you copy that and paste it into the relevant field and hit save that's that taken care of if you go back to the Google developer console and click on your project overview and just take a note of your project number because that will be used in code later on uh, that is basically your uh, put it to documentation that is your GCM sender ID yeah your GCM sender ID and you'll be setting that in the code so Okay, so next, first thing we're going to add in is to our Android manifest of your project is five 
permissions. It says four four permissions. Four permissions. Um, but it's essentially five lines of code. It's four users permissions and a permission. Um, so they're listed here and if you just go to this file here and copy from the bottom up to the permission tag and go into your project and basically underneath the internet permission just hit paste and wherever you see your package name if you scroll to the top of your manifest you can just copy your package name and replace your package name with your actual package name so in this case com.androidtest.batch okay so if you save that and go back to documentation uh, you will then want to add this receiver tag so if you copy from receiver all the way up to service and copy that and you want to paste this and make sure it's in between the application tags of your of your manifest so I'm just going to paste it underneath the activity and again change your package name to your actual package name so once you've done that you're going to want to uh, import the batch framework that we downloaded so go to file import existing android code into workspace then browse to where you downloaded that zip file which you should have extracted by now and go to someone's batch android then go into the eclipse folder and then batch and hit ok and then click finish then you want to right click on your project and go to properties once this is imported and you're going to want to go to the android tab and add the batch uh, library you just imported and hit ok so next we're going to uh, put in the batch functions that basically set up batch in our Java activity uh, we will set our API key and our GCM sender ID which again you can get from your Google developer console this assumes you've used our Google services setup video so you should be able to go to source and then in the com.google.example.games.base go to base game activity and you want to add these two imports so com.batch.android.batch and com.batch.android.config and then you want to scroll to the onCreate method where we will call the two batch functions so we're going to call batch.setconfig uh, new config and we're going to pass you our dev key again if this is if this is your release uh, app change the dev key to your release key and then also your GCM sender ID so I'm going to get the dev key and paste it in and then the sender ID which is again your project number and once you've done that you just need to add a few more functions so on the onStart method just call batch.onStart this in the onStart method call batch.onStart this and then you want to add two methods if you go to the bottom of this file add override protected void on destroy and override protected void on new intent and in the on destroy method you want to just call batch dot on destroy this and on the intent method just call batch dot on new intent and then pass in this and new and the intent and once you've done that you should be able to save and compile and be ready for testing so to test the push notification you're going to go to campaigns you're going to create a campaign and there's two options uh, they're pretty self explanatory but we're just going to do a one time push campaign and just give the campaign a name click next so I'm going to call it test push 
and then I'm going to target all users and you can put in region targeting and also language targeting so I'll just put the language as English and hit next so I'm going to set it for now you can schedule them for the future and then you get to the message so I'm going to choose language as English and just type in this is a test push now you can either click next and set it up but I'm just going to hit send test and if you run this application on a device you uh, while connected to Eclipse in the log cat it should log out the push token of the device which you can copy and paste here and click send and it will instantly send a push notification uh, and so you know it's working Uh, so once you know it's working and you eventually come to set up uh, push notifications you can just hit next instead of send test and it will be set up and ready to use. So hopefully this tutorial has been helpful. I will put all the links in the description and uh, thanks for watching.